<laughs> okay, so um, let's go to the fourth question, um, which is uh, traditional versus modern. Uh, men, do you want to chase a woman, or do you want to, or do you want her to show interest by pursuing you? And where she went out, so I'm gonna ask it again. Traditional versus modern. Uh, men, do you want to, do you want to chase a woman, or would you like her to uh, pursue you? You frozen again. I think Keista should probably go first. Okay, Keista. <laughs> I repeat the question, Keista. I, I got the question. Okay. I the question. I'm just trying to figure out how I get to go first on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because Courtney was waiting on Michelle to come on in here. Maybe that's what that was. Oh, that's oh, okay. All right. So about this question, um, well, it's to each his own preference. That's how it is now. And it kind of was, like, to be honest with you, though, bringing Michelle in, even though it says he that finding for wife finding is a good thing, you still had back then that females, the woman would shoot they shoot they shot. Like, it has been like that all along. It's, it's been the, it's kind of been both ways the whole time. Um, I guess you could say, a female is showing interest if she pursue, but at the same time, I mean, a guy pursuing, it, I mean, it says the same thing either way. So if he pursue first and she pursue back, then I mean, he knows he, it's an interest, it's a chance for interest. Or if she pursue first and he don't pursue, you know, he pursue, pursue back, then you both know you, there's a chance of an interest there. But um, I mean, what do you, so what do you want? What do you like? What at this day and age? What do you want? you want the man? Are you traditional where you want the man to come to say, "Hey, I I, I like you," or because you know we just did a little. I don't know if y'all was paying attention when we was doing a successfully single back in December twenty twenty, but um, I had it to where um, uh, we had her pursue a guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha was like, oh, and it worked, crap. and it worked, and it worked. Okay, so, actually, actually, it, it goes beyond that no, one no. moment. I, let me okay. have my moment. Let me have my moment. But, it worked. Okay, I'll I give you I'll give you your it moment. Worked. Okay, I'll let how they said I'll let you be great. I'll let you be great. <laughs> so actually, I've always well, I've always been the type as what y'all say traditional. I've always been the type that the guy would have to say something to me. But that was one of two reasons. One I, one, I was raised that a guy know what he want before he even talks to her. And that him saying something says a lot, even though I learned later who they are or what they really wanted. Um, and then the second thing was, I with the stuff I was battling with, I was too afraid to do a first pursuit. Okay. Or it it or in a manner of I didn't believe that I was wanted or something like that, and and it just let me feel better that okay I'm actually somebody that they could be interested in if they pursue first. So I had I had those two reasons, and actually, the from the very very beginning before your greatness, Ashley. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, before you, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Before, <laughs> before you, your greatness, Ashley and Courtney, before y'all greatness, and y'all did what y'all did, I actually didn't say a word. The most I spoke was something I had to do. So, like, that had to be another day about how all the meeting went down and stuff like that. But I didn't say a word. Like, I just said what I need to say, and I kept it moving. Um, I didn't look back. I didn't, the next thing I know, I turned around, and they were, like, in the same room, and I'm like, what? Well, Jeez, they still here. And then I just kept it moving. I still never said anything else. And the next thing I know, I like I was found. Like the, you know, that's when I got the friend request. That's when I got like the message and all that stuff. So okay. I just I had always been the firm believer of, you know, I'ma let him do it because it, it I mean it clearly says like he that finds like a dude know what he wants before he gets to you. He already know if he wants your side piece a wife, girlfriend, uh, what you call a sneaky link, uh, <laughs> $5 piece. Like, he already know what he wants. <laughs> okay, so why Wes still got connection? Why he got the internet? Wes, we're going to ask you the uh, question. Are you traditional or modern? 
would you like to pursue a woman, like chase a woman, or do you want her to come up to you and say, "Hey, I'm, I'm in, I, I heard you on that podcast, the I've noticed podcast. I heard you like black women. Here I go. <laughs> Yeah. She also missed it. She also missed it. Oh, okay, we're setting it up. We're setting it up, Wes, because somebody might come at you. Oh, <laughs> hold on, ask it again because my connection, I don't know what's going on with this shit, man. Okay. Ask it again. So, the question is, are you tra- are you a traditional <laughs> man? Are you are are you a modern man? Traditional meaning, do you prefer do you prefer to uh, go up to the female and say, Hey, I'm interested in you? Or are you more modern? You saying like a woman if a woman is interested in you, she should come up to you. Which one are you? Mm. I was a modern man, but no, nah, okay. nah, I had to switch up to that traditional shit, man. Because out of all the girls that came up and tried me first, that shit don't really work out for me for some odd reason. So I didn't mm-hmm. told I, I literally told myself that this last year, like, if I want something, I'm going to have to go. Dang it. I know. I want to hear <laughs> It's all the way on me. Okay, can you repeat that last part? I know you probably you... said something really good on the end, but we you... we didn't get it. Yeah, you said um did you told yourself last year that if you want something, you was gonna pursue it? Yeah, yeah. If I want something myself, I'm just go out there and pursue it. Like I said, all the girls that came after me, I'm guessing that you know they knew what they wanted in mind, and then I mean I've been exactly what they wanted, so it all fell. So I just told myself I'm gonna just go out there and search. So wait, if I failed, then it's always you know hundred percent on me for that. Okay. Okay, and how, how old are you? Of course. Of course it would be that. Of course. Oh, dang. It won't even let us be great with asking how old he is. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Give it two seconds. But uh, while his connection comes back, we had um, Shawana. She's somebody we went to uh, went to college with. She said, I ain't never been athletic. Therefore, I ain't shooting no shot. And when she say that, she mean it. Like, she's she's just like Courtney. Like, you know, she's going to let the guy come to her. Like, she ain't shooting no shot. If it's meant to be, honey, it's, it's going to be. And God going to bring that man. She ain't shooting no shots and doing none of that. But, you know, I think, like I said, I, the reason why I had kind of asked that question is because I think, like, now in modern society, women are just kind of like, you know, if ain't, if ain't no moves being made, I'm going to go out here and, and find whatever I'm looking for. Whatever, whoever the guy is that I see myself being with, like, I'm going to scope them out. You know, scope them out, like, see who, and if it's somebody that I see that, you know, falls in line with whatever I'm looking for, then the women nowadays are more comfortable pursuing the guy. Um, And, I mean, I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with it. Um. But I mean, I, if I had to choose one, I would probably say I would just rather the traditional route, you yeah. know, because I feel like women, we, I feel like if you're somebody that we like or we can see ourselves being with that person, like, I feel like we're all in. But I think for a guy to be the one to say or be the one to pursue the female or the woman um, and initiate things, I think that really says a lot because, you know, guys aren't just going to be, like he said, I mean, guys aren't just going to be out here just shooting a shot seriously with anybody if they don't see themselves um, at least trying to get to know this person more on a serious level. So I'm with the traditional kind of, you know, let the guy do the pursuing because I feel like, again, guys don't really show their interests a lot or show that side of them. So when they do, I think it's it's felt more versus when a woman tries to go out and build a bay or find her own man. <laughs> build a bay. <laughs> and I'm with you on that. I just can't do it. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, don't get me wrong. Like girls who shoot they shot or propose, I think that's a very beautiful thing. I think that's a very like women and thing. Yeah. I, I I propose. I just yeah, you know, so, some women start so, to do that, Wes. Some that women start shit, to do that. That, sh- that shit can't be real, man. I just gotta be some no, shit. Real. Niggas just be it's throwing real. on Facebook. It's Ain't real. no way. It's Ain't real. No way. But, it's real. I, I, but it typically I, happens I, with women that, that's been waiting for a long time. Like, right. you know, like a, a real life example that's famous for this is Chrissy and Jim Jones. You know who that is? I know who Jim Jones is. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot all about that, Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. Chrissy they're, they're, proposed to yeah. Jim Jones because she so was a tired couple of times. A couple she times. was tired. She was tired of waiting and she was just like, you know, she's ready to get married. And he wasn't really trying to make no moves. So she went out and I think she brought herself a ring. I mean, she yeah. brought him, she brought some some ring was bought. And she proposed to him. I'm just like, dang. I felt sad for her. I'm like, dang, wow. I still like, feel sad for her right now. Yeah, like, you really, like, she nothing. Want, 
Yeah, like obviously, like he's aware that she wants more. Like he, she's been his girlfriend forever, forever. Obviously, he knows that she wants more. And you know, to see that she literally had to get on her knee and propose to try to like make him pick up his feet. You know, that was really sad to see. And I think for Chrissy too, it's just kind of like you at that point, you really have to examine your relationship. Like if even still, even after that, it ain't right. Maybe she proposed and he was like, okay, let's get married. Like even still, they're not married, I don't think. They're not. And that's so, I'm they're not going to be with someone for nine years. Nine? Maybe. Oh, go up. Yeah. And uh, see, that's the And that's like the 16, thing. Six, like, almost 20 years. There's no way. Because oh, right. I don't want a long engagement, period. I'm not going to be engaged for two years. That's not happening, for one. And then two, I'm not going to be with someone for 16 years with nothing. I just can't. They do, do have things. They have property. No, 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 no. I get that. I get building maybe like property, life, you know, all that. That's beautiful. I'm not going to be with someone for 16 years without a ring on my finger. It's it's not <laughs> yeah, but see, my thing is, see, that's that's the thing that messes a lot of people up. Like, don't stay in that relationship. Like, you already know you want more. You you know you want kids. You know you want a marriage. You know you want X, Y, Z out of the relationship. And if this person is telling you and also showing you that that's not what they want, I feel like you're doing yourself a disservice and you're holding up. You're literally holding up the space for someone who wants that or somebody that's for you. You're really holding up the space with that person that's repeatedly telling you that that's not what they want. But you're sticking around wasting, what, 10 years of your life, even five years, whatever amount of time you're wasting it when you already know that this person has already told you and shown you that that's not what they want, but you continuously say, I feel like you're holding up the process for yourself. And then it's like, when they get out of that, it's like that just messed them up so much and made them bitter. Or it's just like, they feel like they wasted right. so much time. Now the next they person did. they meet, they want they to get married. So or they want to, you know, yeah, like they want to get married soon. Or, or the, sometimes they do get married soon or get in a relationship soon. And it's just like, because they've wasted so much time on this person who they, they tried to see the potential in, or they tried to, okay, give him more time. I'm going to give him more time and he'll get his stuff together. That's what he wants. Like if the person I, is telling you that that's not what they want, if they verbally told you that and show you that, like, I feel like at that point it's on you. Like it's not on the other person. Cause if I tell you that that's not what I want, but you stay and I, and I enjoy you being around and you in my life, if you continue to stay like that really is on you. I mean, it is on her, and um, um, Emily B is another one, but at least Emily with Fabulous, you know, the rapper, at least she got kids, you know, and she got a chip too, but uh, <laughs> but uh, at least she got kids and stuff out of it, but um, but Shawana said, um, uh, Chrissy gonna be a special friend in the obituary, and they ain't trying to, um, <laughs> that's I, like that's crazy, special friend, like, wow, really. No, they they gotta have at least a a, a power of attorney or something because they just refuse to get married. That's crazy. But um, I, I but what is it? I wonder. I, I I wonder why that is though. Like I just can't wrap my head around it. Because how long I, you say? How long you say they've been together? Like it, you said twenty like plus 16, years. Like six, about 16, 16, 18 years. Like, but I wonder. Like, what's the Jim Jones? Like, what's what's the hold up? Because obviously, y'all already got. Y'all already intertwine like each other's like businesses, finances, all that is kind of like working together. So I really would want to know like what it is, or even just guys, period, who wait for like a long time like that. They don't want to get married. Like, oh, okay, Kiss the one of the things Kissa said, Kiki said about me is like I'm managed or whatever, but um kind of thinking like a guy a little bit, which I know you say you can't really do that. But you just don't want to get married. And I don't know what his thing was, but mine was just like just look observing other people's um mistakes and stuff. So I said that if I was to get married, like I would do like a prenup type thing like now or whatever. But uh he just didn't want to he just didn't want to do it. And then she was pressuring him. But going back to what you were saying Whitney, um it's her life. Like if she know that's what she wanted and want to have kids and stuff, then um, then she could have went elsewhere, but she chose to stay because she loves him, which I don't care about none of that, you know, but um, I just I just don't like him, period. Like, I ain't like how he treated her with the vampire life um, clothing line. I, I just don't. I, it go deeper I for me. I think whatever yeah, works for that person's relationship, that's how y'all do it. But however, I just couldn't. Yeah, but well, then don't get on TV crying about it then. Cause we don't. He said he didn't want to get mad. Leave him alone. 
But um, all right. So, but my answer to that question is I'm more traditional as well. Um, because I, I if I do see something that I like, and I go, hey, how you do? like? I don't, I, I don't like rejection because then you know I start you know snapping or whatever. You know. But um, I just rather a guy come to me and then that lets me know that. He's been observing me. I'm his cup of tea, you know, um, so we shouldn't have any problems. The only thing is, is I got to figure out if I want to pursue or continue talking to you as well. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to the fourth, no, the, the fifth and final topic. Yeah, the fifth and final topic. Um, great, Whitney. We, we're getting on the last one. All right. Um, hey. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, Ashby. I had, I had one little, I had one little thing to add to that. Okay. That question just now, or just, just say somebody in the comments. A guy has said that marriage is not for everybody, but if you want that, and the person that you with don't want that, that that's that's the problem. It's not a problem if you know you don't want marriage, and the female. Or the woman doesn't want marriage as well. That's a difference because y'all are all on the same page, same page. on the same level. But it's right. a difference when one person wants one thing and the other person wants something different. Like you have to look at that. So no, you know, marriage is not for everybody. And you know, people just fine with just having somebody in their lives, just that one person, and not, you know, be legally married. Like they're fine with just having that person, you know, perform like the same duties or whatever the case may be. And that's fine if both people want that but if if both people aren't on the same level you're going to get situations where that person is extremely unhappy right. they you know don't want to be in a relationship or they all the time gonna have an issue or a problem with something or you're going to get that pressure so it's important for you to be open about what you really want like if you know marriage is not for you then make that be known up front and i feel like even still even though i mentioned before that it's it's up to the person if they stay even still i feel like if somebody expressed to you like the, the the woman says like i really want marriage and you say i don't like don't don't keep her around like if you know that's what, just she, gonna is, say that's what that. she want or that's what you want like just go ahead and cut ties cut right. ties like even if that person doesn't like to keep you from hurting that person or causing damage just go ahead and, and cut them off or let them loose like don't even string it along because that's just creating damage like you do have a responsibility in that as well but you know even if y'all, it, it, it's revealed that y'all don't want the same thing, like, don't even stay with a person. If they just be like, oh, yeah, I'm cool, even though I want this and you want that, like, go ahead and cut them off because in the end, they're going to blame you for whatever and it's going to cause damage. So just go ahead and cut it off. Yeah, be mad enough to walk, be mad enough to tell that woman, well, he should have been mad enough to tell her or any woman, just say, I know what you want. Um, I love you. I care for you. And I'd rather see you happy. I, I can't give you what you want, which is the marriage thing, you know. But she also should take responsibility of her own life and say, um, I know what I want, I know what I deserve, and I'm going to walk away from this situation because I deserve better, you know. But, um, all right, let's go to the fifth. Passion. Yes. Right, right, right quick. Um, that same person just said, yeah, but some think they're both ready for it, but soon find out they got married too fast. Okay, like, I think right. I think actually the marriage question or like, are you ready? When do you know you're ready? Or somehow word that should be a good topic because can, that can go, can. yeah, because that could go many oh, different that. ways. When he said marriage ain't for everybody, that actually is true, and Absolutely. what y'all said are true. Um, and let me bring Michelle in for Courtney right quick so she can sing her song. Uh, <laughs> the, thing, the, the thing about that is it's actually a scripture This, and I hope y'all can see how I can take the scripture and see apply it to the life and there is a scripture that says it's a gift to be married and it's a gift to be single so some people may be single and some people may be married but at the same time you just both gotta know that you're ready so I think that should be a topic you know, we can we can sure. most definitely do that. We can we can talk about that um next like week that. possibly. Yeah, right, so 